What's going on guys here with Hardy Tech, welcome to some grinding montage. Today we're not going to be doing story time, instead I have a different topic in mind, and that is Pokemon that should have their types changed, or types added to them. With 6th generation coming out tomorrow, I thought this would be a good time to maybe throw out some ideas, although I know it's way too late to, you know, implement these things into the game, especially considering apparently everybody freaking already has this game, and I don't, which makes me very sad. Anyways, um, I know a while back I mentioned I kind of wanted to do like a top list thing of Pokemon that should have their types changed, and I never got around to doing that, but I did end up making a list that had some options on it. This is not my full list, but, you know, maybe you might not go over a few of them. So, the first one I think is Raticate. Raticate, in my opinion, I know it was in first generation and this type wasn't around at the time, but I think Raticate should be a normal dark type. One, I don't think there actually are any normal dark types, which, um... Would suck because it'd be quad weak to fighting, but when you look at Raticate, I just, I feel like there's this evil presence about it, you know, there's just something dark about rats, and I think Raticate may, uh, not as much Rattata, but Raticate, I think definitely should have the dark type added to it, especially because it, it like, it crunches on things, and crunch is a dark type move, so just, just make it a dark type, come on, for me, please. Um, and the next Pokemon I think should have a type change is Vulpix and Ninetales. I believe they should both be Fire Psychic types. And I know it's just, per like, then this one and the next one are probably, like, really obvious. When you look at Ninetales, it, I don't know, it just, it seems like it should be Psychic. It looks kind of m mystical. I, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but for some reason when I look at Ninetales and Vulpix, I just think, like, wow, you're probably, like, weird and can use your mind for things. So, yeah, why not make it Psychic type? And to follow up with that is Psyduck and Golduck. Uh, not really as much Golduck. I don't really get that vibe from Golduck, but Psyduck should definitely be a Psychic type. I mean, it literally has Psy in the name. The entire, like, lore of Psyduck is it gets migraine and it gets Psychic powers, yet it's not a Psychic type. Just, err. I've ranted about that so much in my videos, so I'm just going to stop there, but seriously. Um, next up is Ghastly Haunter and Gengar. I don't really understand why they are a poison type. I know, I get the fact that they're like, they're gas, and gas is poisonous. Okay, that's cool, but they don't even learn any poison type moves by level up. Ever. Like, it, the only purpose of poison is to make them weak to psychic. In my opinion, they should either just be straight ghost, or ghost dark. But I know that, you know, up until 6th generation, that would have been a little too OP with them having no weaknesses. Obviously, now they'd be weak to fairy. But, you know, why why are they poison? It just, it doesn't benefit them at all. You never put, like, poison moves on Gengar. Or, I guess you could put, potentially, like, um, Venishock. But, you, you never see that. It just seems like Dark would benefit it so much better than Ghost would. So, just, you should work on that, Nintendo. You get your head in the game. Next up, moving on to second generation. I think Ursaring should be a fighting type. I don't, I, get, I can understand, um, uh, I, I forgot Earth Strings baby form. Oh god. Anyways, the, the tiny little bear. I can understand him being a normal type, but Earth Strings is just like this big, mean, grizzly bear. If he punches you, you're going out. He seems like he should be a fighting type, but no, instead he's a normal type. So, I, I don't know. It seems like they missed out on a prime opportunity there. I mean, he's brown. Brown's like the main color of fighting, and they, just, they had a good opportunity to make like this big, mean, grizzly bear of death. And I guess they did try to make up for that with Pancham and whatever his evolution's name is, but, you know, it, I don't know. It seems like they missed out on a good opportunity there. Lugia. Why is why is Lugia a psychic type? It lives in the water. It should be water flying, in my opinion, just like ho oh is fire flying. It should have water flying, because it's it lives in whirlpools, it lives in the water, yet it's a psychic type. Just... I don't understand that. I don't know. Maybe they maybe there's some kind of story there I don't understand, but I just I don't get it. Dustox is a bug poison type normally. I don't really understand it. In my opinion, bug uh, Dustox should be bug psychic. I think that would have benefited a lot more because when it evolves, it learns confusion. You know, beautify learns gust because it's a flying type. Dustox evolve, you think, oh, it'd get a poison type move. No, it gets confusion. And then it learns Psybeam. And I think eventually it learns like one poison type move, but I don't know. I don't know why dust talks. I know like um, toxic is like in its name. It's like a play on dust being bad for you or whatever. But it it should be a psychic type. Like looking at its move set and how it acts, it seems like it'd benefit a lot more as a psychic type. So, eh, you know, whatever. Soul Rock. Why is okay? I know they want to have like uh, Lunatone and Soul Rock be these weird psychic rock things, but 
Solrock, it, it's known for using Flamethrower and Sunny Day. It, it, it's the fire, it's the sun, you know? The sun is fire, and that seems like it should be fire type, but no. Instead, it's a psychic type, despite the fact that it's like, you know, it uses Sunny Day and Flamethrower and Solar Beam. It's a psychic type, so just, yeah. Continuing on with the things that should be fire type is Groudon. It lives in the lava. It, I know, okay, Groudon, obviously it should be a ground type, but Kyogre is the like, okay, I'm actually just kind of starting to see some of the logic that Kyogre is Yoda Sea and Groudon is the land, but he lives in lava. I mean, if I were to throw you in lava, unless you're a fire type, it's probably not going to go too well. So just make him a fire type already. Okay, this is probably like one that like everybody agrees on, and that's Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray. They should be dark types. How do you look at Luxray and not think dark type? It is black, it is, looks cool. It should be a dark type, but no, it's not. Just Maybe that's something we'll get in 6th generation. I can only pray and hope, but I, I don't know. Um, the next up is Porygon, Porygon 2, and Porygon Z. I think she needed to be normal psychic or just pure psychic types. Just... I, I, I don't know, just look at them. They're like little digital balls of awesomeness, and you're at least a duck in one case. He's he's a mega duck. He should be Psychic Duck. That should be his name, not Porygon. It should be Psychic Duck, but they should be Psychic types or Normal Psychic. I can see the Normal Typing to a certain extent, but I think they should have the Psychic Typing as well. So these next two I've kind of been spoiled with by like Blaze Black and Blaze Black 2. And that's Pignite and Ambor should be Fire Ground. I don't understand why it's a fighting type. I get that Ambor is like a big sumo wrestler or whatever, but... I don't know, it makes a lot more sense than being a ground type, so just, just my opinion. And Duat and Samurott should be water fighting. It makes a lot of sense, I mean, Samurott has like this giant sword thing on whatever, I don't know, he, and he hits you, and it's powerful, but no, he's just pure water. And I don't, I maybe they were like, okay, well we already got one fighting type, because they completely screwed up Ambor and just wanted to troll people after having like 15 firefightings in a row. But, no, they should have had a water fighting this time. And, and now in 6th generation, well, I'm not going to spoil that yet because the game's not out. But, yeah. Anyways, Darmanitan next, I think should be a firefighting. I just think everybody, sh everybody should have fighting type added to them. That would make the game so much better. And I'm not going to go into Darmanitan. But Maractus, I actually thought this was Maractus typing for a long time. I thought Maractus should be grass water. And apparently it's just pure grass type, which surprised me. I didn't know that. But it should be... You know, it, it's a cactus. It soaks up water. You think, well, you shoots the water out. It could be a water type, but no, apparently not. So, uh, whatever. And the final one I have is Bear Tick. It should be ice fighting, in my opinion. It's the same thing as um, Earth Ring. You know, they're these big, mean, like grizzly bear like things. They, they punch you, you go down. I mean, I just, I kind of realize that Bear Tick and Earth Ring are literally exactly the same, but different colors. But they should both be fighting types. So, that's my list of Pokemon who I should have their types changed. It's not my complete list, but. You guys should tell me down in the comments what Pokemon do you think should have type change? These are added or removed or changed or just different in general. So let's have a little discussion down in the comments. Until then, next time, I'm Marty Tegu. Thank you for watching. Peace.